I want to talk about sequences and specifically arithmetic and geometric sequences and the difference between the two. So an arithmetic sequence is a pattern of numbers where to get from one step to the next, from one number to the next, we either are adding or we are subtracting. And oftentimes we think about subtracting as adding a negative. So most of the time we just say, think about it like you're, uh, like you're adding, okay? And a geometric sequence is one where we are either multiplying or dividing. Oftentimes we think about division as, as multiplying by like a fraction or something. So most of the time uh, we think about it as multiplication. So let's, let's do a couple examples here. Let's start with an arithmetic. Um, so if we had a pattern of numbers that was something like this. To begin with, we say, well, is it a common addition or a multiplication? This, of course, is a common um, addition. We're adding three each time to get from one step to the next. So this is arithmetic, and the pattern is that we are adding three every time. Now, in another video, in the next video, I'm going to talk about how we might write a, an equation for this. But right now, let's just focus on the, uh, on the actual definitions of these things. But we could also have one like this. Where we are rather subtracting 5 every step. Or, again, you could think about like it's adding a negative 5. But again, it's arithmetic and we are subtracting 5. That's our pattern. Okay, so arithmetic, again, we're looking for a pattern of addition or subtraction, and then we, we just isolate what that is. Let's talk geometric. So let's say we had something like this. Yeah. Now I can just look at something like this because, you know, this is a fairly easy uh, step and say, okay, it's times 4. You know, it's times four, this seems to be working, so it's a geometric sequence where we're multiplying by four every time. But if it's a, a harder pattern or one you don't see right away, you can always take a term, like the second term, and just divide it by the first term. You can say, well, eight divided by two should give me my, what we call, common ratio. Okay, a common ratio is simply what we're multiplying by every time. So that's an easy way to do it. And really, at this point in, in a course, we're only talking about these two types of sequences. So it's either, is it a common addition or a common multiplication? Let's do one more geometric. Let's say we had something like, uh, like this. Like that. Now, again, I typically rule out arithmetic. It's the easiest to pick out. I usually start with that. I just look and say, well, it went down five, and then it didn't go down five again. So it's not arithmetic. That's what I would usually check right away. And I guess up here I would say, okay, I added six, and I didn't add six to get to the next one, so it's got to be geometric. So again, you could look at this and say it looks like you're dividing by two every time, but the easiest way is always... Uh, to just take a term and divide it by the one right in front of it to get that common ratio. So if we just said, you know, okay, 5 divided by 10, same as, you know, 0.5 or 1 half, this is geometric, and I'm multiplying by 1 half. I like fractions. You could also write 0.5, but that's our common ratio. So again, arithmetic, we are looking for a common addition or subtraction. I always start by checking that. Um, geometric, we're looking for a common multiplication or division. The easiest way to calculate it is just take the second term, divide it by the first. You know, it's never a bad idea to just make sure that that's consistent to then try maybe, you know, doing the same type of thing with these two. Say like, well, what if I divided this one by this one? Would I also get 0.5? That would verify it. Um, but that's our two types of sequences we're going to be working with.
If this video helped you, please like and subscribe for more math help. I have videos in algebra, geometry, calculus, statistics.